on May 12th at Bama 29 in Birmingham, a new middleweight champion will be crowned when Yannick Bahati takes on the farmer boy, Matt Holland. After rising to contention on the international stage, two of the UK's top middleweight contenders will finally meet again in a rematch four years in the making. I fought Mahalam in 2012. We're both top prospects in the middleweight division in the UK at that time. He wanted a tough fight, I wanted a tough fight. His main event time. The anticipation for this bout has been massive. It was definitely on the cards to be, to be a great fight. I was just finding my ground, and this, this was obviously going to be a stepping stone up. Both these guys legit prospects. Matt Hallam quickly off the bat, trying to swarm. Yannick on the defensive. Matt Hallam really pushing it forward, pushing the pace. I was beating him up, almost knocking him out. Well, Matt Hallam is looking to land bombs. None of the shots hurting me. I was totally fine. He thought I was hurt, and I think that was uh, part of his downfall, to be honest. Managed to get the takedown, puts me in a bad position. I was quite surprised how weak he was, considering he's a big middleweight. Yannick Bahati's grappling looks excellent. This is a bad spot for Hallam. Oh, that's a big elbow. I f***ed my budget, you know. Landing elbows. Whack, whack. When I'm smashing his head, he's he screaming a little bitch in the middle. Ah, ah. Huh. Bahati relentless. And that is it. Steve Will steps in. He got that win, that's four years ago. I'm a totally different person now. I feel that I dominated most of that fight. For them guys out there that didn't see that fight and just think, oh yeah, he beat me, watch the fight, and then judge it, and then come to Bama and watch me destroy him. Matt Hallam! For Matt Hallam, being dealt his first career loss did nothing to slow his drive to succeed. After joining the famed London Shoot Fighters team, he returned with a newfound determination and now finds himself preparing for a title shot on the back of three straight TKO victories. Relentless, Alan. Oh, double right by Carlos Cena. That's... Wow! For most fighters, a chance at redemption would be motivation enough. But for Hollum, the ultimate goal is the Bama middleweight crown. I don't carry emotions on fights. It's a title fight. It's a world title fight. That supersedes any other thing. It wouldn't have mattered which opponent it would have been. It's just very clever of Bama to put Yannick in front of me. I'm going to get the belt, and I'm going to get my loss back. You know, it's perfect. What a perfect opportunity. I've been training at London Shoot Fighters for three and a half years now. It's an amazing place, you know. They just ooze confidence. The coaches are amazing, the world class. Training with guys like MVP, uh, Mike Shipman, Jimmy Warhead. If you can stand and strike with MVP for a round, you're doing well. The person that he was last time, I don't even need to watch. I know it's different. He's a different person now than he was then, and that is going to make the difference when it comes to that next fight. He's improved all round. Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, and his stand-up. And this is one thing I found as well. Though he's already had stand-up, when, when you get here and you have someone that's picking holes in everything you do, your stand-up gets, uh, gets even better. You know, something that you were good at, you are now great at. And I think it's the same with him. So having the right people around him just to, to carry him right the way through with this next fight, big fight on Bama, he's going to go out there and Mighty Mighty Boy's going to smash some heads, man. For me, I've amazed myself, really, how far I've come. Now having coaches around me helping me develop, I feel like it superseded anything that I've ever been able to do before, you know? I just seem to have acquired a lot more skill, a lot more calmness, and put things together that are really, really dangerous. This place has no mercy for you. These guys don't train people to lose. They train people to win, OK? And that, that's what's going to happen on May the 12th. Since their first encounter in 2012, Yannick Bahati has carved his own path to international recognition. After a rapid rise on the European circuit, Bahati made the transition to the EFC in South Africa and was crowned their middleweight champion in 2016. Here's your champion, it is Yannick Bahati. In his return to Bama, he now finds himself on the brink of history with a chance to become a two promotion champion. Winning the Bama World Tower means a lot to me, you know what I mean? So 
It's um, a goal that I had, I've had in my mind for a long time, since 2012, when I made my Bama debut. And, uh, you know, May 12th, I'll get the opportunity and uh, I'm going to become the Bama Middle World Champion. My main home here is at UTC. Come on. Obviously, my last two, three fights are main eventing, so I'm getting used to that kind of pressure. So overall, my game, not just physically, but mainly mentally, my game has evolved a lot. The blueprint, yeah? Let's work on it. Step out back in, there you go. <laughs> Dave Laval, he's uh, my head coach. A bit of movement going on. Feel out there while you're out there, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. It's a big advantage having Dave here, because obviously Dave is a former boxer. He's competing himself, so whatever he says, I, I, truly, I truly listen, you know, I take it on board. You know, if he says something, I make sure I'm listening, and, uh, you know, and it makes sense, you know, the, the results I've shown. And again, one, two, one, two. Mix up the last, there you go. He's like a sponge, anything you tell him, he takes it on board and um, he'll put it into practice. Um, which is a good thing. You've got a good understanding as coach, fighter, fighter, coach. And now, there you go. Seeing is believing, and um, anybody watching in and um, knows about fighting will know, well, if you're up against him, you're up against a handful. And if you're not on your game, let me tell you, you're in trouble. I can see a big difference in um, the evolution of Yannick from the last fight with Matt, and you know what? I think he's in for a scary night. And time! I don't believe Mahalam has evolved as a fighter at all, you know. I just see a big guy comes forward with a lot of pressure, you know, he bullies people. And that's, what, that's the same thing that he's always been fighting the same way since one night for him. He's only a striker, he only wants to keep the fight standing, he never goes for takedown, he's one dimensional. Me, you know, I'm all round, I can punch, I can kick, I can fight on top, I can find a bomb, you know, I've won, I've won fights by submission, by knockout. Realistically, I don't believe Mahalem's on my level. There's got to be a Johnny Bahadi finishing. Johnny Bahadi gets the victory. The Black Mamba strikes and gives South Africa. He don't care. His biggest weakness is his ego. I don't know where it's come from. He's going to carry that into, into that cage. I'm going to put it in a bag for him to take away with him. Ha! While I was over here fighting European gold medalists and top 10 guys, he's over in South Africa fighting for, for their belt. Now, if he comes back here, so he wants his Bama belt. I don't think so. Well, listen, he's down, you know, I'm going up, you know I mean? I've already got one world title, and right now I'm coming from a second world title. What does he have since we fought? This guy is in danger. I don't even know why he's so confident about it. He's, he's, got, he's got trouble knocking at his door. Man, I just want to this guy up. I just want to get in there and fight like a beast. I see myself finishing the first round, you know. I'm going to put my halam on his back, and uh, I'm going to land him a vicious elbow and open that gash up again. Four years ago, he gives a f what happened four years ago, you know, both different fighters now. What, I, what matters is May the 12th. I turn up, get my wraps on, get in the cage, f this guy up, pick my gold belt up, and then get out and hit Birmingham. This is my f hometown, and this belt's staying right here in Birmingham.